Growing up, there's one thing I always knew, that I would never get a van. I always told myself that, so it would never happen. But what's this behind me? Well, it's a rental. Doesn't count, right? Why would I ever even want a van? I mean, it's not like opening doors are super easy with a press a button and door just slides open. Oh, I guess it does. All right, fine, I guess it does have an automatic door, but is it even roomy inside? Is there enough room? Hmm, I'm on a third wall right now, so it looks like there is uh, quite a bit of room. Not a tall guy, but at 5'9", it's not bad actually. All right, so with all the fun and games aside, the reason why I actually rented this van is because we're going on a small family road trip from Houston to Austin. So it's only two and a half hours, fairly short compared to what people would consider a road trip. However, the reason why we wanted this van is to have a little bit more room. Currently, the biggest car we have is a Subaru Outback, which is a decent size for everyday city travel. However, it doesn't really allow much room for my wife to sit back there with the children, should the children need anything like snacks or you know, books or whatever toys they want to entertain themselves with during the trip. This isn't the first time we've actually rented a van. We rented one previously when we had our trip in Colorado, and I found that I really, really enjoyed driving one around. And since we have the van for a week, I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to share with you why I really like having a van as a family car and why it might actually be the perfect car for a family. I probably should have known better and knew that I wasn't gonna have any time to try to sneak in a video during my family vacation because here I am family vacation over van returned but I can still give you the reasons why I think a van will be great for your family the biggest reason I've kind of touched on it already is that there's just so much room inside the van look at that I even have a wagon stroller and then two duffel bags and I still have a pretty good amount of room to stack even more stuff on top. As we become parents there's just so much stuff we have to carry for our children like stroller wagons and when they get older maybe some sports gear. Having a van just makes it so much easier for us to carry that stuff along with us. Definitely better than my small little car here. As you can see I can barely fit just two car seats in there and I'm that's it. If I was any taller, this Mazda 3 hatchback would not work for us. All right, so this is a pretty big one for me, especially whenever I have kids. It's the doors. Since they slide out, it's just so much easier for you to get in and out of the cars and not have to worry if someone might be a little too close to you. So one of the main reasons why I never thought about getting a van, of course, besides the stigma of it being a van, is because of the fuel efficiency. However, now the miles per gallon has been much better, especially with brands such as Toyota, which has about 30 miles per gallon in their hybrid Sienna, and then the Chrysler Pacifica, which is a true plug-in hybrid, which gets about 20 miles per gallon per plug on charge which doesn't sound like a lot. However, if you're in a city, 20 miles should get you to work and home. All right, so I know you're probably thinking now, Kevin, you're doing a lot of talk about convincing other people to get a van when you're still sitting here in your Mazda 3 hatchback. Well, I actually did order a van 13 months ago, and I'm still waiting for it. I've still been waiting for my Toyota Sienna. Yes, I've been waiting 13 months, and I'm still on the wait list. That's how popular they are right now. That's pretty crazy. I never really thought that I would be the one to actually get a van. However, after driving one, it's pretty practical and it works very well for our family. So I'm getting mines. I'm hoping my van comes in sooner or later because I'm getting really tired of my, this leg situation here for me. I've been driving like this for 13 months and this is really pushing my limits. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so when I do finally get my van, I do a review on it, you can see how I transition over the van life. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.